Lux for Less family. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kanisha. If you're new, this channel is called Lux Living for Less. On this channel, we try to find tips and tricks on how to still live a fabulous lifestyle on a for less budget. Today is Friday, February 9th. I am starting this vlog off in the car. You probably can't really see me that well because it's dark outside, as you can see. And the only light I have is, you know, my overhead light in the car. However, in keeping with the mantra of Lux Living for Less, um, I don't know if I mentioned to you all that I'm going to be going to a gala um, here in the next couple of weeks. Actually, maybe like three or four weeks from now and I don't have anything to wear. It's formal to semi-formal and I don't have anything formal to semi-formal in my wardrobe for obvious reasons because I never go anywhere that requires that type of attire. So I'm here at the thrift store. I'm here at City Thrift to see if they have anything. I do not want to spend a whole lot of money on something that I'm probably not going to wear again. So I'm going to take the most economical approach and always start with the thrift stores first. So let's go in City Thrift and see what we can find. dresses right here and on the other side. You've got your problems, baby, and I've got mine. Let's just spend it all by putting it together, yeah. Good morning, Lux for Less family. Today is Saturday, February 10th. It is 6.51 a.m. It's early, y'all. Y'all can see I am dressed. I am actually um, at a sorority um, function that we're having today um, that's going to be taking place all day today and all day tomorrow. And we had to be here at 7. Coincidentally, I'm the first one here. So... Um, maybe seven was just like a placeholder to say, really be here at seven 30 so that we can get here on time. I'm rarely late, but my friends tease me about that all the time. They always say they know when they have a call time, I'll be the first one now. Anyway, I'm here at the center. I'm just waiting for my other sorority sisters to get here so that we can enter the building and start to do the things that we have to do. But I just wanted to come in and check in with y'all. After I leave here, I'm probably going to be here until about 12. But after I leave here, I am going to, um, like I told y'all yesterday, go to a couple thrift stores, Goodwills, you know, consignment shops, and see if I can find um, a outfit that's appropriate for the event that I'm going to be going to here in a few weeks. So just want to check in with you guys. And um, just want to check in with you guys. And I will check in with y'all later. All right, Lux for Less family, I'm done with my sorority duties for, for the day. Y'all, I'm so tired. It is 12.28. I think I talked to y'all around 6.50 this morning. So, yeah. Um, But anyway, I am here now at the thrift store. I told you all I would be looking for um something to wear to the events that I'm going to later this month. And I think I have one next month do I? I don't know, child. Um, yes, I do have one next month. So I'm going to go to the thrift store, look for that. And if I don't see anything in here, I'm going to go across the parking lot to the Angel 8 is literally right across the parking lot in front of me. Let's go in here and see what we can find. Yeah. This young Lord reporting live from Atlanta, Georgia. Decatur West Greater. And uh, I want all my sexy ladies to report to the dance floor immediately. We gon' go and glide this one, y'all. Yes, big grease. Chick yeah. right off the back, man. The boy got dollars. Some women come frequent, like flight mileage. It ain't no secret. I, I might holler, but I ain't gon' sweat you, baby. I'ma let you catch up with your gang. Run faster. Don't let them lose you, cause I ain't gon' bless you. Unless you feel a little desperate. Send a, a text message, girl. Stop. Wait a minute. The way you move that girl, you done got my heart. 
to the galas in the thrift store. I'm walking across the street to Angel Aid. Although I didn't find um, anything to wear to the formal events, y'all, I found two of the most beautiful jackets. One is a Harley Davidson that was on my list, and another is a USA jacket that I'm sure my husband's gonna take. Say hello to the bouncing farm. Let's go into Angel 8 and see what we can do. I wanna feel I wanna feel I wanna tell you that I need you. I want my body with my very last time. I want you to part of the woman now. Let's go into Angel 8. Let's go into Angel 8. Less family, I'm back home finally. I said I want to be home by six. It's 5 40. Um, I went and got me a crab tray today. They sent a text message out and said their snow crab trays were buy one, get one for $3.99. So I got one. I'm going to sit here and eat it. I have my zero sugar Dr. Pepper. And then once I finish eating, I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to take a bath and I'm probably going to be asleep before 730 because I've been up since five and I didn't go to sleep until almost one. So I'm pretty, pretty tired. I've had a busy, long day today, um, but I'll check in with y'all later. All right, Lux for Less family, I have washed my hands. But before I took a bath, I wanted to share with you all some things I picked up from the thrift store. I know, I know, I know I said I was trying not to thrift in the month of February. However, you all also remember me telling you that I was going to be visiting some thrift stores this weekend in hopes of finding some things to wear to um, two events that I have coming up that I don't really want to spend a whole lot of money for. But I know I could probably find at the thrift store if I take my time and look. 
well i went in today didn't find what i was looking for but i did find some other items because you know i had to browse while i was there so let me show you what i all got right, before i get started all tags were on sale except white green and red were 50 percent off blue and yellow were 75 percent off white was full price so just remember that when i'm sharing these items with you the first item that i picked up is this um tie from brooks brothers now y'all know i love men's ties but this one y'all i love the red and white color way of it y'all know i'm a member of delta sigma theta sorority incorporated so i can never have too much red and white anything now i am probably going to wear this to our next sorority meeting with a cute you know a little look to jazz it up and um i showed you all in my last vlog uh, the young lady who I follow that has this really awesome DIY hack for men's neckties. Well, I am going to implement that in my look that I'm going to wear to our next sorority meeting. This tie was marked $5.99. Remember again, green was half off, so I paid $3 for this Brooke Brothers red and white stripe necktie, but I got this from the thrift store. All right, this next item, you are either going to love it or you are going to hate it. It is no gray area in between. I got this purse. Y'all look at this. This is by a company called Little Earth. And look at the intricate detail in this purse. I mean, look at all those fun colors. It has these beautiful feet on the bottom. It has a stainless steel side. This is by a company called Little Earth. This was marked $34.99. So I paid $17.50 for this purse. Now it does have a leather hand strap. And on the inside of it, y'all, look how clean it is. Like, look at, it is virtually untouched. I wish you all could really see and appreciate the details on this purse. I mean, it is like has crystals throughout but these feet y'all these feet are really what got me now when you wear this bag you can't wear anything else to clash with it because this is doing enough all on its own so when i wear this i'm going to have to wear something that has a monochrome um look to it like an all blue something and all white something any color that's in this bag pull that color out and just wear one solid tone of that and then just let the bag do the rest of the talking i mean the only thing that i wish this bag did have i wish it had an adjustable strap which it does not because i would really like to carry it more like this instead of like this but it's okay the way it is but i got this purse is by a company called little earth it was marked 35 dollars but it was half off so got this for 17.50 from the thrift store all right the next two jackets complete my bomber jacket search y'all i have pretty much a bomber jacket from every different colorway texture that I had on my wish list. Y'all remember me telling y'all that I had really been in the search of some nice bomber jackets and I found some really nice ones. But today the jackets that I found completed the set of what I've been looking for. Let me show them to you. All right, the first jacket is this USA leather jacket. Let me just take a moment so y'all can really appreciate the details on this jacket. Y'all, this jacket is 100% leather. It has this beautiful USA detail going down the side. It has this pretty eagle on the back. And then on the front, it has a USA patch. The jacket was marked $99.99. Red was half off, so I paid $50 for the jacket. And it was well worth it. This jacket retails for about $200 to $300. But this is what the jacket looks like on. Now, my husband is definitely going to want this jacket. He hasn't seen it. He's at work. But when he gets here and he sees it, he is definitely going to claim it as his. As his. And, you know, that's okay. But this jacket, y'all, is so, I mean, look at it.
I paid $50 for this jacket and it was well worth it. But got this to add to my bomber jacket leather collection. Got it for $50 from the thrift store. All right, last but not least is another item that I've wanted to add to my collection. And I finally found it. It is this Harley Davidson bomber jacket. I love it. I love the embroidered logo going down the side. I love these buckles on the side. It's plain in the back. It has the Harley Davidson logo patch right here. Now this was marked $59.99. Red was half off so I paid $30 for this jacket. And this jacket just like the USA leather jacket, this jacket runs between $150 to $250 also. So me paying $30 was a great 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 steal i mean it literally is a fraction of the cost but this completes my bummer jacket collection i won't be purchasing any more bomber jackets but got this from the thrift store I'm, I'm expecting my husband to claim deals on this one as well but got this from the thrift all store. right so those are all the items that i purchased from the thrift store i also did go to jc penny's you all know it's kind of rare for me to shop retail but in the event that I find the need to absolutely go, I will. I'm always going to check out the clearance racks first. Today was no different. In this JCPenney trip, I was looking for um, an outfit to wear to the gala. I was kind of looking for something formal, but I stumbled upon an outfit that I like just as much that's going to fit the bill just as well that I'll be able to keep in my wardrobe because I'll be able to wear it again to literally anywhere. So let me show you what it is. Now, I didn't go in JCPenney's looking for this specific thing, but I remember there's a young lady that I follow and y'all, I can't remember her name. I'll definitely put it on the screen so that you can go follow her and check her out. She does a lot of recreation videos of celebrity styles that she recreates on a budget and y'all, she nails it every single time she has not missed for real so she recently recreated this look by tracy ellis ross love this look let's recreate starting with these pants and top from jc penny's let's put it on now to have my base let's add a jacket let's add some loafers last but not least let's add a flower and this is the final look what do you guys think that i recreate and in the look i said oh my god those pants are fabulous and she commented back and she said she got them from jc penny and i literally told her let me head on down to jc penny because y'all i had not been there in quite a while well while i was in there looking for something formal and i 86 that idea i saw the outfit that she used in her recreation and y'all it was on clearance i could not believe it so this is the jacket and these are the pants y'all these pants are mega long and when I tell y'all I have been looking for a pair of cream or white pants that were wide leg, that were long, cream, white, long, this, check, check, check. And then on top of that, they were on clearance for $23.22. I mean, it gets no better than that. They literally had one pair of my size and then they had the jacket to match it in my size, which was also on clearance for $26.99. And y'all, when I tell y'all the fit on this jacket is so good, it has this almost slightly exaggerated shoulder look about it. It has shoulder pads and the jacket gives off this tailored look. I immediately Put a look together in my head. Y'all remember those INC pumps that I purchased from Macy's, the YSL dupes? I'm going to wear these shoes with this outfit. Look how that blue pops against that cream. And then they had a blue shirt in there that was exactly this color. I paired it under the shirt. I mean, I paired it under the jacket. Looked amazing. They didn't have the shirt in my size. That's okay because I can find a shirt this color anywhere. But look at this look. I mean, everything about it is fabulous to me. But this is what I'm going to wear to the gala. Not formal, but formal enough. And it's something that I'll wear again and didn't spend a lot of money on it. All right. And the second thing I picked up from JCPenney's, I was also in the market for a pair of wide leg trousers. 
that kind of gave like a cargo feel without the cargo pockets. JCPenney had these as well on sale. These were $80 and I believe they were 50% off. So these were $40 after the discount. I think I spent all together right at $100 for um, these pieces. I have to look back at my receipt, but I love how it has this nice belt detail and these are long y'all. All right, y'all, so those are all of the things I picked up today. The items that I picked up from the thrift store, you know, small but mighty thrift haul, and then items that I picked up retail from JCPenney. Now I'm going to take a bath, you guys. I am extremely tired. Y'all know I've had a long day today, so I'll check in with y'all tomorrow. Peace. Good morning, Lux for Less family. Today is Sunday, February 11th. It is Super Bowl Sunday. Who y'all going for today? I'm going for... The San Francisco 49ers. Not a 49ers fan in general, but I'm gonna be a one day fan today for the sake of the game. I'm actually headed to Fresh Field Farms. I'm headed to pick up a few minor grocery items. Um, they have to me some of the best produce. So I'm going there and I know it's gonna be especially crowded since it's Super Bowl Sunday. They open at 10, it's 9.28. I should get there about 9.45. I guarantee you it's gonna be a line when I get there. And then I have to make a stop at Best Buy really quickly. Um, make a stop at a friend's house to drop something off to her. And then I'm headed back home. But anyway, those are my plans today. I'm not really doing much of anything else. And um, I just want to check in with y'all. I will chat with y'all later. All right, y'all, I'm here at Freshfield Farms, and just like I told y'all, it was gonna be a line. Now, I've been here about 10 minutes, and just look at the line that has formed in the last two minutes. It's 9.52 now, um, they open at 10. I'll get out the car at about 9.57, because <laughs> I'm not gonna stand in line, you know, for eight minutes, waiting on them to open. I'll just get out at 9.57 walk up get my car and by the time i get myself situated in the line that's already formed makes its way in um, around the, the turn about or whatever you want to call it that's formed then i'll be you know in by 10 so that's that on that so i see y'all inside <laughs> done with my shopping it's only 10 15 i told y'all before i love this store because the shopping is controlled and everything is in a line so it's designed for you not to spend a lot of time in the store walked in at 10 i'm sitting in my car at 10 15 so now i'm getting ready to hit the best buy and then i have one other stop to make and then i'm gonna make it all home so let's go All right, y'all, I decided to make a pit stop to this coffee shop called Sapori. Um, it's a coffee shop on San Jose Boulevard. If you live in Jacksonville, y'all know I enjoy a good Danish donut, croissant, <laughs> whatever. So um, this was actually on my way home. I just had to get off the exit. And while I was passing it, kind of sort of in a roundabout kind of way i decided to go ahead and try it so let's go ahead and see what they have to offer about my past, things i used to do the games i used to play the girls i didn't last i know what's on your mind you think i'm doing wrong can i say what is real you're all the only one that tried me me talking crazy i need you all in my space but
all right y'all so first impressions of the coffee shop love it is an italian pastry shop so all of their pastries are homemade fresh every day and y'all if you've ever been to like a um french pastry shop then you know the vibe that it gives so um an italian pastry shop is pretty much on the same wavelength everything is fresh everything is homemade let me show y'all what i got all right so this is a pistachio and she did say it but they were speaking like she said it in her native dialect so i really couldn't understand what she said but it's a pistachio something and i i really do like pistachio pretty much anything this is a um some type of a puff with the pastry cream in the middle kind of like a donut but she didn't call it a donut and then this y'all i wish y'all could smell it it smells so good this is a homemade um croissant and it has a pastry cream in the middle these are mini beignets with a pastry cream in the middle as well you could tell they were homemade you know you can tell the the difference in smell between homemade stuff and and like pre-packaged frozen stuff this smells so good it smells like it came just right out of the oven so i'm headed to best buy now that's actually my last stop is 10 49 i'm doing really good on time so i see y'all at best buy y'all i had to come back on real quick I took a bite of this. Y'all, this is so damn good. If you be, if you live in Jacksonville and you like a good coffee shop, come to Sapori. Is that what it's called? Yes, Sapori, S-A-P-O-R-I. It's at 12276 San Jose Boulevard in Jacksonville. This is so damn good. I like to let's family today is Tuesday, February 13th. It's one day before Valentine's Day, two days after the Super Bowl. Congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs again. Not the team that I was rooting for, but congratulations to them nonetheless. Wanted to do a quick Amazon haul with you all. I picked up a few random things, I guess, from Amazon. So let me show you what I got. All right, the first thing that I picked up from Amazon was this automatic soap dispenser. Now, um, if you've been following me for a while, then you know that I did purchase a soap dispenser probably about three years, maybe. Well, it finally died. And um, I was kind of glad that it did die because I had been wanting to replace it anyway with something a little bit more sleeker. And this is what I picked up. It's an automatic soap dispenser. There's the name there. I'm not going to try to pronounce it, but if you can, then good for you. It is um, has a digital thermometer control and then it has um as you can see all the little fun stuff that, that, that it does on the side it has the um sticker plate where it sticks on the wall i don't i'm not really a fan of these because they tend to over time lose its um adhesiveness and um, my experience in the past with other things that have had this type of um mounting on it it has just not been friendly so i'm probably going to figure out another way to mount that but 
got that from Amazon. The second thing I picked up was this lint remover. Now I've purchased one of these before as well in the past. And I think I only paid like $5 for it and it did the job of a $5 piece of equipment. So I got this one. This one happened to be on sale. I want to say maybe it was like $10. It is digital. Um, as you can see there, and then it has different speeds that you can use to operate it. So this is another thing I picked up from Amazon, this lint remover. All right, another thing that I picked up from Amazon are these um, suspenders. I mentioned to you all in a previous vlog that I was looking for a pair of suspenders to complete a look that I was trying to put together in my head and got these. These were only $3.99. So very basic, nothing really exciting about it. Just a regular pair of suspenders. But the last thing I picked up from Amazon is just a pair of sunnies. Y'all, Amazon has really good sunnies, especially if you're looking for dupes to some of the high-end more designer or luxury brands. These are a dupe to the Prada sunglasses and I'll insert a picture of the actual Prada sunglasses. I didn't know that they were a Prada dupe at the time that I purchased them. I actually was just looking for a pair of black and white sunnies and um, I ended up purchasing these and then I later found out that they were a dupe to Prada, very good dupe might I add, but um, got these from Amazon. I think these were like 12, 13, $14. Um, and it did come with this case. It is by Mosanana, Masanana, but got these from Amazon. All right, and then I made a purchase from The Real Real. Um, I had been looking for a pair of black and white Oxford style shoes that had a heel. I didn't want a flat Oxford, not this time anyway. I am gonna get a pair of um, Oxford looking loafers, but this time I wanted a black and white, specifically black and white heel. And um, I went on the real real and researched and found a really pretty pair of Givenchy uh, shoes. I was gambling on it again, child, trying to wait for them to go down. They had been decreasing and de decreasing and decreasing. And I guess another sis said, I'm waiting too. So at, by the time I went to go back on and purchase them, somebody else had bought them. But you know, that's, that's what happens in the pre-love market. You win some, you lose some. So these came on the market maybe a few days or maybe a couple of weeks. I don't re really remember how long it was. It wasn't too long in between um, on the real real. So I purchased these. These are by the brand Balenciaga. And it's just a leather, um, they call it a laser cut leather something. And the heel is probably about four inches, so a very modest heel. And I only paid $50, I wanna say, for these. I'm not really sure which collection these came from. I don't really care. I was just kind of looking at the shoe, actually. But um, got these from The Real Real. But I do like on the front how it has like this little shoestring tie detail. But those are all the purchases that I made. I did want to share them with you before I closed out the vlog. With that being said, you guys, that is going to be it for this week's vlog. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You guys, we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So if you're watching and you're not subscribed, I would appreciate if you would do so. If you enjoy my content, I would love to have you as a part of my family. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at LuxLivingFor underscore less. And I will see you guys and gals in the next video. Bye, y'all.